Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of the tutorial for Where's My Mind? Okay, so first up, here's what we're gonna learn. Alright, so what is going on here? First off, with the left hand, you will play exactly the same as before. Okay, we already learned this. With the right hand, you're gonna play this. Okay, so what is going on here? First off, you're gonna play this B up here with your pinky. Next up, you will play these three notes and then back to G sharp really fast, like so. Okay? The faster the better. Or play it slowly, that's also fine. You can also play it like this. Afterwards, when you're here, you play G sharp, F sharp. Okay? And then you will play this. Okay, so you are here. And then you play F sharp, E. And now with your middle finger, all right? From here, with your middle finger, you play D sharp. C sharp, you keep your thumb right here, D sharp again with your middle finger, E with your thumb, and then you will play all the way up, back to B, okay, again. And that's why you have to play this B with your pinky so you can reach all the other notes. All right, then you will do the same again. But this time you will not go down all the way to C sharp, but you will only play F sharp, E, with your thumb and then go up again till this G sharp but now you will not play A and B like before with your ring finger and pinky finger you will switch and play this A with your thumb okay from here put your thumb up here and then continue to play upwards okay till this D sharp up here so again First time. And a second time. Okay. And then you'll play these two E's together with your thumb and pinky finger and then D sharp. You'll play this twice. All right, that's it. Okay, now this is the point where people with only 49 keys on their keyboard will not be able to play. Only goes up to this C. So the only thing that I can come up with, if you only have 49 keys, is instead of playing it all the way up here, you only play it again until this B. So like this. And then, instead of playing both E's and both D-sharps will only play this E and D-sharp down here, okay? It doesn't sound as fancy as the other version, but at least you'll also be able to play this song. Now, 
when we combine that with the left hand, it's going to sound like this. Okay, so the first note on the right hand, you're just going to play that together with the first note on the left hand. Then, these four notes, you will play in between the last note of the first chord and the first note of the second chord. Okay, this is a very short time frame. But that's usually where you should play it, like so. You can play it a little bit earlier if that's too difficult, like so. So basically start on the last note of the first chord. Whatever you prefer. The most important thing is only that this last, this last G sharp, you hit that with the second chord. Okay. like this just play this note with the second chord and you play the second chord and again in between the last note of the second chord and the first note of the third chord you'll play this and you'll play this F sharp with the third chord like this. Okay. Then you play the third chord. And again, after the last note of the third chord, you will start with the right hand again. Okay, so the fourth chord is a little complicated, it goes like this. So every second note of the right hand, you will play one note on the left hand. You start on this E. And the last note of the right hand, Play this with the first chord again. Okay? So again, from the beginning. You'll do the same thing for the second time you play it. So here, and then you will play this, and you will play this on the third note of the first chord and on the first note of the second chord, like so. On the third note of the first chord, and the second one, D sharp, on the second chord. And then the last time you play this chord, you will only play it to the C sharp, okay? 
not go back to E. So again, let's listen to what we learned so far. Alright, and now we're basically done with the song. Now there's only the outro, and the outro is gonna be exactly the same as the intro, like this. You play that whole thing three times, and the only thing that changes in the end, right here, last chord, you will go up to F sharp, and then G sharp is gonna be the last note. You'll play this with this E down here. Okay, so again. And that's it. That's the whole song. Let's listen to everything one more time.
Alright, thank you for watching. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one.